Welcome to a slightly blustery, but less blustery than recently, Cambridgeshire. I'm out for my first walk of 2022. And uh, I'm just north, on the northern edge of St Ives. And I'm walking out across the fields towards Woodhurst. There's a little village up that way to the north. And uh, maybe up to Pidley, another even smaller village. And then we'll see what happens. Um, it's a bit of a make it up as you go along kind of walk. And we've come to uh, a bit of nostalgia for me. This is uh, commonly known amongst friends of mine as the tree. Because it is a tree. Um, we used to come out here when we were younger and uh, Funnily enough, we used to camp out here occasionally, and I once, <laughs> I once found myself waking up right, right here, this point here, just there. <laughs> I woke up fully clothed, having slept against that tree all night long. Well, half the night maybe. <laughs> uh, it looks like it's still used by the local, local youths. judging by the uh, stuff left behind. It's right next to a sewage plant, which is nice. But yeah, that, that was probably my first ever wild camping experience was here at this tree many, many years ago. Anyway, let's carry on. We've just had <clears throat> three pretty bad storms, one after the other, here in the UK. Uh, we had storm Dudley, Eunice and Franklin, and all in the space of like four or five days, I think. And they, they cut a swathe of destruction across the country. Sadly, uh, three people, I think, died. And... Uh, some, there's quite a lot of flooding as well. That's one of the reasons I haven't gone on a riverside walk. You see how boggy it is here, up here in the, I'll say up, we're in <laughs> East Anglia. This is about as hilly as it gets. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to go near the River Ouse because that's already burst its banks. So, Whew, heading up here where it's a l relatively dry. Um, don't seem to be too many trees down up this way, but then there's uh, not a lot of trees either. <laughs> this is going to be a very boggy day. I'm 
might be a recent casualty. Time for a map check. So, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, followed this little track here gone around past the sewage works there and following that path um, I think we've gone across this way can't really see the little turns there but we're following along there and we're going to get towards this Wigan Hill Farm, but before that we're going to turn off that way, heading up towards Woodhurst, and then from there follow up to Piddley, and then we'll see how we're how we're getting on there for time and weather and all that. It's looking good though; it's getting nice and bright now. So, yeah. Onwards. This is actually my first proper walk of 2022 um, and first video of 2022 so a very belated happy new year. Hope it is a happy new year or has been um, and continues to be. Uh, the other test for today is my fitness because over Christmas, Christmas and New Year I was uh, finally struck down by the Covid, um, a relatively mild dose of it. Cheers Covid, thanks for that. A bit of a headache. little snack on this bench in memory can you see that in memory of those bats of Woodhurst 1934 2011 cheers ladies nice one RIP thanks for the rest a bit dodgy underneath this tree though <laughs> I was like prepared to leg it I heard a crack. Right, let's carry on. <laughs> My hat has been kidnapped.
almost losing my hat to nature. Um, on that note, I've been a uh, little side note here. I've been reading a book recently called uh, The Tangle by Justin Robertson. I'll put a, a link below where you can buy that from. Um, he he's a DJ artist. Uh, you may have heard some of his tunes back in the day. He still still DJs now. But I remember him from back in the mid 90s. It was part of a band called Lion Rock. You might have heard of them. Anyway, he's written this book called The Tangle, which is a weird kind of horror mystery. It's hard to explain really, you'd have to read it. But the main theme so far is that there is the tangle. And it's it's a bit like nature turning on turning on humans, turning on man, um, feasting on their flesh and all that sort of stuff. No spoilers yet. <laughs> but yeah, just today walking around. Uh, with nature attacking my hat. Yeah, it just reminded me of that actually. Give it a read, give it a look. Um, I think I'm about a quarter of the way into it. It's a good book. Bit of damage here. Let's see. Resting. Well, it won't take much to bring the rest of that down. It's going to take this one out. I mean, they've, they've chopped some of it up, fair enough. But. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's not stand under here too long. It's not a lot holding that up. Let's see from this side. See the old wind turbines in the distance? Well, I can. You probably can't. Just spinning around. Got some further up. And piddly as well. The old scarecrow in the field. Gorgeous day. Once you're out of the wind, it's really nice. I mean, there's, uh, there's some rain containing clouds beginning to hang about, but uh, I mean, compared to what we've had the last few days, this is fantastic. Couldn't have picked a better day for it. Of course, I'm completely uh, <laughs> tempting fate now, aren't I? Saying that it's probably going to absolutely lash it down. But hey, I've had some, some good weather so far. So we've come from Woodhurst, we're on on this little track heading up towards Piddley. Um, I did a little time check back there and it's at half ten, which surprised me, I thought it was later than that. 
<laughs> unless that watch I haven't wound it properly. Uh, old school timepiece. There's a reason for that which will become clear in a future video. There's a rabbit just up there. There he goes. Our local, one of our local red kites up there. I'm not even going to try and zoom in because it's never going to pick it up. Very in the air she is. <coughs> Just see the little white stripes here, there you go. Distinctive call. Cool. It's probably after that rabbit. <laughs> Buddy, oh, there's two of them. Leg it. Three of them. Run away, run away. <laughs> That's another kite over there. Yeah. It's my spring watch, winter watch. Where's Chris Packham when you need him? This track here is a disused railway line. That's the path that heads that way. <laughs> so I'm thinking of following, following it that way, because that kind of heads back towards St. Ives. I may, may have double back some of the route and I might end up going back circling back to Woodhurst because if I go that way I'm going way off down towards River Ouse which considering how boggy it was back there um, I, I don't fancy plus I'm feeling pretty knackered actually now more knackered than I would normally be Covid so I'm gonna try Try this way. Still looking for somewhere to stop for a brew. 
a bit windy. Ooh, zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, twice now where I've had to double back where what looks on the map like a path or track isn't, or it just ends. A bit annoying. Um, so we're heading towards Colne and, uh, and frustratingly getting further away from St Ives. I'm, I'm trying to curve my way back without double backing too much, uh, failing on that. So the plan is to get to Colne and then try and follow either along one of the roads or there's, there's no direct footpath as such but I may have to walk alongside on the verge or whatever head back towards Woodhurst probably and then go back across the fields because uh, quite a lot of rain around it's, it's blowing through I've had a couple of showers that's why I have to keep putting the camera away and the sun comes out and it's nice I might get a rainbow I don't see one anywhere though Ooh. anyway really do need to stop for some proper lunch though at some point sun's out again we're nearly back in St Ives hooray um, at some point I'll show you on the map the uh, crazy uh, route I ended up taking currently just come off the road near Needingworth Needingworth just back there I think the last time I spoke on camera we were uh, where were we? Near Colne or Bluntisham? Anyway, went past Colne, through Bluntisham, through Needhamworth. Now just cutting across a very boggy field. Because it's preferable to walking alongside a busy road which you can hear just over there. The A1123. So we're gonna schlep across here. And it's only well, St Ives is just, just there really. So it's just gone two o'clock. Well it's about about twenty past now. weird that bit some sort of 
blasted area of the Somme. A bit of a windfall in here. Logs. see it but there's a um, water skiing ramp out there it's between the trees yeah so uh, batteries going so I'll cut this short Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been a cracking walk. I'll try and assemble it all into an interesting video for you all to watch. So until next time, cheers. I'm gonna have that brew now. Cheers for watching. <laughs>